The Supreme Court dealt a major blow to the Trump administration today, ruling against its attempt to end the DACA program. Chief Justice John Roberts joined the court's four liberal justices in the 5-4 decision today. For now, more than 600,000 young migrants will keep their temporary protected status. Immigration activists and dreamers are holding a rally downtown right now. News 8's Alicia Summers joins us live with more on this partial victory for immigrant communities. And I was watching every day. And I didn't see this coming. That's right, Carlo. The rally day. started at 6 o'clock this evening in front day. of the county building here and in downtown. And so far, dozens of people court, have gathered. The They're all celebrating today's Supreme Court ruling, allowing the more than 600,000 DACA recipients across the country the and the estimated 40,000 DACA recipients in San Diego County to continue their protected status for now. I'm relieved. Um, there's been several months of anxiety, of sleepless nights, all culminating today. Border dreamer, 25-year-old Irving Hernandez, who came here from Mexico when he was six, reacts to the Supreme Court's decision to block the Trump administration's effort to end the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program. I am truly relieved, um, but understanding that after we celebrate today, the, the fight continues for a permanent solution. Human rights advocate Pedro Rios says this ruling is a partial victory. There's still a lot more that needs to be done. Getting Congress to pass much more permanent immigration reform would be one way, for instance. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote that the reasoning the Trump administration used for rolling back the program was arbitrary and capricious. Justice Clarence Thomas wrote a dissenting opinion, saying these cases could and should have ended with a determination that his legal conclusion was correct. Instead, the majority today concluded that DHS was required to do far more. Human Rights Counsel Michelle Soleri explains what that means. The Obama administration came out and they provided a benefit and relief from deportation at the same time. And now we're saying that the Trump administration can't do the same. Hey. And the court's decision will last until or if the administration comes out and decides to rescind DACA and go through all the procedural requirements they need to go through. Back to you.